Thrones, Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney for streaming the film online at the same time it opened it in theaters. In court filings, Johansson claims Disney tried to draw audiences away from theaters to its own streaming platform. She says Disney promised the film would have an exclusive theatrical release for at least 90 days. Disney maintains it fully complied complied with Johansson's contract. So let's bring in Bloomberg Opinions, Tara LaChapelle, and Quick Takes, Alex Webb. Tara is here with me in studio. So let's just start with you, Tara. Uh, I'd love your new column. Uh, it's titled, Disney Should Know Not to Battle a Superhero. I want to ask you, did you see this coming? I think so, because, you know, last winter when Warner Media decided they were going to put all of the Warner Brothers films on HBO Max, starting with Wonder Woman 1984, Gal Gadot, uh, Patty Jenkins, the director in that film, they had some reportedly tense negotiations with Warner Brothers about what that would mean for them because a lot of times the stars in these films are promised uh, a certain amount of pay based on how well the movies do in movie theaters. So when the studios pull a bait and switch like this and decide, well, we're going to put it on opening weekend, available online for people, well, you've just undermined those box office sales. And so that can be pretty meaningful for these actors. So a lot of them had been kind of behind the scenes negotiating, renegotiating with these studios, especially Warner. And it's, it's really interesting that this is the first case where we saw actually a lawsuit come out of it. You have to imagine these studios want to avoid that. It doesn't look very good. So, you know, it's, it's interesting to see Scarlett Johansson come out and, and sue Disney as opposed to Disney trying to get ahead of this and working out a deal before it got to that point. Hey, thanks for watching. For more stories like this, be sure to stream Bloomberg Quick Take 24 seven for free at any of the places down below. Get live coverage, interviews, documentaries, deep dives, and so much more on the stories that you care most about. And don't forget to hit the follow or subscribe button on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.